kindly permit me to use this opportunity to respond to the unfortunate comment credited to His Excellency, former Vice President Atiku Obaka, during his campaign stop in Katsina on Tuesday, that he will reopen all the Nigerian borders if elected president. By that statement, an Adi Atiku has simply informed Nigerians that he will reverse all the efforts made by the PMB administration to achieve self-sufficiency in the production of many staples, especially rice. By that statement, the former Vice President has informed the country's millions of rice farmers that they will soon lose their jobs when imported rice floods the country. By that statement, His Excellency Atiku Abubakar has told the hundreds of thousands of Nigerians working in the various rice mills that have sprung up under this administration that their jobs are over. By this statement, Alaji Atiba Ubaka will shut down most, if not all, of our new fertilizer blending companies with thousands of jobs going down the drain. And by his declaration, the former vice president has told Nigerians that he will worsen security in the country by allowing arms and ammunition to flow unhindered into the country. In case His Excellency Ajiko Obaka is not aware, the Buhari administration has increased the number of fertilizer planting plants in the country from 10 in 2015 to 142 today. He has increased the number of rice mills in the country from 10 in 2015 to 8 integrated rice mills today. In addition, 10 large scale 10 large-scale integrated rice mills are currently being built across the country. His Excellency Atika Obaka may also want to know that while Nigeria was the number one export destination for rice in 2014, our country has moved to number 79, according to Thai land authorities. By throwing open the borders, Indiscriminately, as he has pledged, Alaji Atikwa Ubaka has simply announced that he intends to return Nigeria to the number one importer of Thai rice in 2023. It is not clear that his desperation for power, the presidential candidate of the PDP, will not hesitate to export Nigerian jobs, put millions of Nigerians out of jobs and ruin the fertilizer blending plants and the rice mills that have grown exponentially in numbers since Nigeria shut its border in 2019 due to the smuggling of rice as well as arms and ammunition into the country. For sheer experience, Alayaji Atiku, a former customs officer, who rose to the pinnacle of his career is ready to erase the gains made since 2015 in pushing Nigeria closer to self-sufficiency the production of staples. Out of desperation, is ready to worsen the security situation in Nigeria by throwing open all the borders and allowing a massive inflow of small arms and light weapons into the country. Only an inordinate, ambitious candidate will wish to return Nigeria to an era of massive importation of food to the detriment of local farmers and an era of unbridled inflow of weapons. This is a red flag to Nigerians who, in line with the admonition, Opposite Muhammad Buhari have been striving 
to produce what they eat and eat what they produce.